Greetings to you. Hope you're having a great week. Um, I'm making this video uh, while preparing for shepherd leader training this week and uh, reviewing our little green book. You know, we give this to our guests and at one point, some years ago, we gave it one to every family in the church um, because we uh, so appreciate the message of this book, which is about churches that combine a love for, uh, belief in, preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, but with that proclamation and that belief in the doctrine of the gospel also tries to exhibit gospel culture. That is, we try to live out the, the gospel in our day-to-day -day life and relationships. And you might wonder from time to time, you know, why in our preaching we just keep coming back again and again to the gospel. Of course, part of it is because so much of the scriptures are the message of the gospel. Even the Old Testament uh, is fulfilled in the gospel. And the promises of the Old Testament are realized in the gospel. And then the epistles, such as Colossians that we're doing right now, is just the gospel again and again and again in its emphasis. But there's this wonderful little quotation from the little green book. How does this gospel doctrine lead to a gospel culture? It creates churches of bright, resilient, rugged hope. Bright, resilient, rugged hope. It creates churches that face life as it is and are not defeated. Well, that's a good word for life right now, isn't it? Because in this uh, time of uh, kind of come through the COVID uh, plague and yet it's still around and there's still sickness and so forth. And when there's so much upheaval in the country, political and social upheaval, and uh, we wonder, you know, are all of these things bubbling up to a point of bubbling over, boiling over? Is Jesus coming soon? Those kind of questions. Yet we can be in the gospel, uh, a people of bright, resilient, rugged hope. And I hope that that will encourage you this week to be that kind of hope-filled person not hope in governments, kings or presidents, not hope in uh, medicine, although there's great breakthroughs that come with all the scientific research and so forth. Great progress has been made on medical fronts. And yet, um, that's not our ultimate hope. Our hope is Christ and the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news of forgiveness of sins, of righteousness imputed from Christ himself, of the everlasting hope we have of the new heavens and the new earth and spending eternity in the very presence of God and with the Lamb, Jesus Christ. Well, this week, uh, no Wednesday night activities at church. Middle school and high school youth will be going to the corn maze, and I think you know about that. Uh, if you need some information, you can give our church uh, office a call about that. Uh, but I hope the kids have a great time at the corn maze on Wednesday night. Uh, there will be a Zoom prayer call, 645, for about 45 minutes. Feel free to join us. The link will be in this um, email that you're receiving. Um, in two weeks will be our quarterly meeting, business and ministry meeting. We're gonna hold it at West Campus Sunday afternoon at four o'clock. And um, it'll be a time for you to tour and look around and see the expanded West Campus facility. I think you'll be excited and thrilled with them and for them. And uh, uh, you'll hear reports during that meeting of what God is doing both at South and West. And then following that meeting too, we'll have a soup and pie supper that's being planned. And so we'll have a great time of fellowship together. If you've never been out to West Campus, I especially encourage you, but even if you have, it's all uh, refreshed and renewed and larger. And so you'll be excited to join for that. It's a big week. Our, our friend Sarah Adams leaves for Thailand uh, early Sunday morning. She's going back not as a, a missionary per se, a supported missionary, but going back as a bivocational worker, getting a job there 
and representing the gospel of Christ in her day-to-day -day relationships. Pray for Sarah as she makes that big move back to Thailand. Day by day, we focus on Christ and we're so thankful for the cross and the resurrection and the ascension, the promise that the ascended Christ is at the right hand of God interceding for us, even now, right now, as I'm saying this into the camera, Christ is interceding for his people and he's preparing a place for us so we can be in this world, a people of bright, resilient, rugged hope. God bless you this week.